Researchers in Washington state have launched a nationwide clinical trial to answer one of the lingering questions about those vaccines. So they want to find out whether COVID-19 vaccination prevents infection as well as spread and transmission of the virus. New specialist Jed Bull has the story tonight. So far, the vaccines have proven effective at keeping the vaccinated person from getting sick, but we still don't know for certain whether that person can still get infected and spread the virus. I think we're in a good spot. We just got to keep people signing up. As Utah's vaccination campaign gains momentum, researchers in Seattle work on a question about the vaccines that still needs an answer. Do the vaccines, which prevent us against serious illness, also prevent us from still getting infected and unknowingly spreading it to others. Dr. Emily Spivak is an associate professor of medicine in the Division of Infectious Diseases at University of Utah Health. If we could find that the vaccine is very effective at preventing asymptomatic infection and then also secondarily transmission to others, then we could begin to lighten up probably even more on these, on these restrictions that we have after people get fully vaccinated. The results will help individuals and communities make science-based decisions about mask use, social distancing, and gathering. If we don't spread the virus after we've been vaccinated, we won't need to wear masks. People keep saying, well, I'm getting my vaccine, but then we're saying, but you still need to wear your mask when you're in public. You still need to avoid large crowds, large gatherings, poorly ventilated spaces, because we don't know if you can get it and still and not know that you got it from that setting and then transmit it to others. Thousands of college students on more than 20 campuses will be vaccinated and monitored over a five month period. If results come soon enough, our vaccination strategy could change. If you find that the vaccines really drop infectiousness and transmission, then maybe you wouldn't have to vaccinate as many people. That might matter in the months ahead when eagerness for the vaccine turns into hesitancy. Researchers hope to have answers in about five months.